Now there is a big community that has a budget, okay? A lot of people believe in budgeting, great. So if you like the idea of budgeting, right? You like the idea of creating categories for the different areas that you spend money in or having separate accounts to take, to take care of certain bills. Okay, cool. You're going to want to look at people like uh, debt free millennial, um, descendants of the Dave Ramsey community, the fire community, right? You're going to want to look at some of those content creators. If you're like myself, where you don't budget, you just simply calculate what you spend per month, where you spend it. You simply look at the bank statements. You see where every dollar goes, and then you minus your income from expenses, and then you see what you're left with, which is that monthly cash flow. From there, what I simply do, once I know where every dollar is going, I look at the guaranteed bills, right? Stuff that doesn't fluctuate. I have that right here in one category. I'm like, okay, this is what I spend. Then I look over here in the non-guaranteed bills, food, gas, miscellaneous, uh, house products, bathroom products, um, eating out, dining out, entertainment, vacation, birthdays, holidays, New Year's, da 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 Okay, cool. I look at, I go back 90 days up to a year and I see exactly how much money I spent, divide that by 12, and then I learn how to create a lifestyle. I learn how to create an income, I'm sorry. I learn how to create an income that matches that lifestyle, that lives above it, so that I don't have to stay within a budget, right? Like I don't have to get a headache or get stressed when I go $500 over this budget or $700 over this budget, right? What has worked for me is to simply know what is going on in my finances, know exactly where money is going, and then identify where are the leaks in my personal finances. So instead of trying to reduce, cut, uh, rice and bean diet, like put more stress on an already stressful position, I'm simply looking for leaks in my personal and or business finances. What would be a leak? An example of a leak would be I have five to seven upwards of $10,000 per month in bills that can be paid with a credit card, but I'm running it through a debit card, a checking account where I'm not earning any money whatsoever from that debit account, not earning any money whatsoever from that debit account to use that debit account. But there are offers over here with these different credit cards where I can earn $200 back, $500, $700 when I spend 6,000 or more in the first 90 days, when I spend 5,000 or more in the first 90 days, 2% uh, cash back, 3% cash back, 5% cash back, 3% <clears throat> cash back plus a match at the end of the year on all of the cash rewards that I earned in one whole year in the first year. So if I earned $2,000 in cash back rewards in the first year, they'll match it, boom, I got four grand. So if I spend 5,000 a month on credit cards, that's $60,000 in a year, right? And I'm earning say 3% cash back, that's $1,800. And let's say the first 90 days, they gave me a $300 uh, statement credit for spending 5,000 or more within the first 90 days. That's, that's 2,000 $100 back into my economy. So instead of spending 60,000 a year minus 2100, I'm now spending 57,900 a year. So I didn't change the lifestyle. I simply redirected or increased the flow, the velocity of money to recapture $2,100 a month and ongoing, right? 